in with Clash Mirage back again. This is one of the beautiful parts about being at 1,200 trophies. You find guys like this. All right, so a lot of it is in the in the uh, pumps. I'm actually gonna start over here so I can take care of a lot of of a lot of the mortar splash with my. Now, once I open up this wall, I can uh, I'll throw in a bunch of my giants and uh, and add some archer support. I'm gonna put my archers around the edge. I'm simply trying to to uh, to reach the achievement where you destroy. I uh, destroy a bunch of builder huts. I can't remember. I think it's like 2,500 builder huts or so. So I put some archers around, drop my giants from my clan castle, and uh, add a little archer support. So I'm going to let them take out some of the defenses before I send in my goblins. Now, the vast majority of the gold is in the mines, and we know that because with my town hall level 9 and theirs being town hall level 8, the uh, the maximum amount that they can store in their in their uh in their resource storage is about is about two hundred thousand. And we can see that there's not much in their resource storages because uh because I mean you can't see any gold in the bottom and and so we know that once again most of the gold is in the mine. So I take out those defenses there and I use my wall breakers to pop open those corners. And I send them in and, and uh and take a little bit of the loot. So I'm gonna have to work. The tricky part about this one is I have to work the whole village. But luckily the walls are are not very strong, and so it's not too hard to use the giants as distractors for uh, for the defensers and work the whole village. So my archer's still over there. Uh, I'm actually trying to I'm trying to win this battle as well as getting the resources. So I'm trying to get at least 50% damage. Should be fairly easy. I'll drop. Uh, I'll I'll save two of my giants so that I can go work that other side and get whatever's left in the storages. But I want to uh, go in here and destroy the mines and pumps to see how much there actually is in the storages. To see if it's worth my time to uh, to go in and send the rest of my troops, or to just save them for another battle. But uh, but we can see. I mean, there's seventy five thousand gold about and a little over a hundred thousand elixir so it's definitely worth our time just top off our looting so I send in the two giants to distract the defenses once again and then I'm gonna send in a bunch of my goblins so when you send in goblins like this since I haven't destroyed all the splash damage defenses like the uh, the mortar towers or the the mortars and the wizard towers I wanna send my my goblins in in little hordes so I didn't send all of them in at once because they get zapped by the splash damage defenses. And, uh, and as you can see, it worked out fairly well. It's not perfect. I didn't get that 34,000 elixir, but not too bad with a cost-effective army. So this is a good example of some of the villages that you can find with a little looking at 1,200 trophies, give or take. Uh, you can see my trophies here at 1,235. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, I just want to give you guys a quick example of opportunities that you can have at about 1,200 trophies with a town hall level 9. So, subscribe and comment. Let me know anything else you'd like to see. Good luck clashing.